fresh air max for the summertime Trying to work a hustle in my life around money signs These funny guys talking road like they took a life Yeah, I've never let it what my cousins might I look at life with a whole different angle now I'm Trying to make the most of it and grip it till it's strangled out Fucking with my club Then your boys better stand the ground You wanted war, there's no prospects for you hanging around It's your boy Ur uh, at Ur uh, on Instagram, at Twitter on uh, Twitter, all my links on the screen right now. We are here, battle number two of five of the day. Shouts to the Ritz for having us. Manchester City, if you're ready for battle two, please make some noise! Yes, we are in the building, you know what's good. This is Don't Flop, MCR versus LDN. Only five hand pick battles by the staff members on the card. This is battle number two, it's gonna be a fucking banger. If you wanna holler at Don't Flop, all the links you need are on screen right now. Anywhere you wanna contact us about trying out, buying merch, getting in league, whatever you wanna do, please, all the info you need is on the screen right now. No further ado, MC on my right hand side, representing Manchester and Mosh team, make some fucking noise for Bruxelles! Yeah. Shouts to Briggsy, co-organised the event with my dude Briggsy. And on the left hand side, another co-organiser of the event. He's brought you classic don't flop battles over the last two years. From London, make some fucking noise for Babylon! <laughs> Alright then, the first? Alright, that's it. Like I said, please tweet us with the hashtag MCR vs LDN and at don't flop on the Twitter. Let us know all your opinions. We chose off camera. Briggsy is going to be starting this clash off. Oh, Babylon is sorry. All right, Babylon is going to be starting this clash off. It's round number one. Manchester vs London. I'm going to do Bam. Let's go. Yo, can everyone hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Right. Here's the thing about being staff. I mean, it's a laugh, and then you say you've got a battle with Briggsy to fill a card, and you're like, come on, brothers, this apart. This. Is, this isn't hard. I mean, you can only give a room service a mini bars. See, there's only one reason this match was accepted. I'm here to make sure that the stands is corrected. We had to give you a battle for the links that you connected, but you being on the card lowers what the fans have expected. There's so many ways to say how this man is pathetic. I'm just trying to find a pattern directive to ensure that he actually gets it. Because I hate these guys who are friendly before battles. It's like, brother, what is this? You jumped on every status, even those with nothing to interest. That flipping frog always throwing defensive replies at somebody witness. Bruv, you just that little mug that pops up when it's none of his business. Yeah, you the little mug that pops up when it's none of his business. I'm like, <laughs> hold it down, hold it down. Hey, shut the fuck up. You're that little frog that pops up when it's none of his business. Because look, I can't think of anything living worse than being flexplicit, the ginger version. <laughs> Cause you rap, you rap like you bull or something. I mean, talking about your height is the only time this dwarf was stunting. You looking like Cracker's northern cousin, or if he got, or if, or if he got caught and squashed when the garage door was shutting. See, it's disrespectful. You know the plan. Quit hoping what you throw in lands. They ain't punches. They open hands. While my live lines running over heads like local trams. See, I'm still in amazement that because your mates and basic tracks and where the venue's located at that you can drop a shit bar and, well, they react. That's my problem with the game, in fact. It's like you're so blind to what makes you bad. Your company's a bunch of yes-men. Of course they never say you're whack. That's why the scene is in a state of gas and I came to put a flame to that, because battling became a fad. It's like, now you want the fame it has for what your music making lacks. This scene is in a state of gas and I came to put a flame to that, because it's like, guys want to go online and brag about the battles <coughs> that they have had in a pub in front of like 80 fans, <laughs> and their mates are like, You've made it, man. And that's how we get battlers like you, and I hate it, damn. Or daylight shitting on stage, so either way we're damned. It's funny you won in this game so bad, and I'm trying to make an escape from that. Because in 2014, everyone in battling became a fag, so you've got two options. It's like you can let these wasters chat, or allow real rappers to step up and take it back. Because I'm known to write sick. If he don't like how I smoke him like this, then a throw of my fist will have him bleeding out both his eyelids like the Ebola virus. Because, come on man. Throw my fist bleeding out both your eyes like the Ebola virus. Because all them angles just didn't work. You can keep digging dirt, but soon it will be Briggsy's turn to fill an urn. This is Harpery home. I came to make sure that your city's bitch is burned. Time. Ready, yeah? Let's get it going. Now it's been over a year 
So it's only fair I bring bars with no bullshit Now I'm packing rounds like I'm packing out This type of rappers can't spar with the punches I never tire I've been reached for the air when I jack a rapper like a car when it's punctured They told me Bamalam's a threat Fuck that I don't care if you roll with an army of armies or Somalian monsters I'll either carve him or cut him on my mind, Joe Look around and realise where your team at See, if they cheat me coughing, that's <coughs> Cos that weed's hard If they see you coughing, that's <coughs> Where the weeds are, your team's a bunch of reapers You man might have strikes down south, but up north you're foreigners. Around here, not one of you have been blessed with a green card. Now I was told to perform. They said Bamalam's ill with it, so I came to throw punchlines and morphine. Got that hunger for more than my pen game stripped in a war scene. These battle rappers left like Stephen Hawking. I don't give a fuck if he's crippled the walk and he'd still be left stiff in the morgue when I scribble on corpses. Because the last thing you'll see will be that white face coming. It'll look like a porn scene with Jason Voorhees and Red Marstein. With a click, you know you've heard of that? We push your person back so far, birds your rat could solve the murder rap. There's no turning back, but I'm watch three battles. Every verse is whack. I'm cold, you try stand up and get funny, you'll catch your death like Burning Mac. I'm back. The lion heads like the cut of a bar, but they told me you was the next to bang, bang, well, cool, cause I'm that silence of the silence, yo. Each round the muffle the spark of, you can use your legs. To get ahead like it's a hurricanrana, but just for sticking round, you'll take body shots like a fucking piano. <laughs> hey, see, I told, hey, see, I told Ern I'm looking to battle. I told him set me up with a martyr. He said, You want top tier or newcomer? I said, I needed someone to spar on. He said, Bamalam. I said, Cool, bring him up to the father, because I'm only bringing the one. These battle rappers say there ain't no kind of love for the art for, so fuck you. And the crew you're a part of. I'm bringing summer slam bars and your shit so bulldog. Your team that had the heart loser. I had that hit man called Brett that was set to lock Smith with a sharpshooter. <laughs> and what are you saying, Lux? Pussy now on the battle thinking I ain't gonna send for you. He quit three weeks into my prep time asking me on Facebook if I wouldn't mention you. Then the time I said, cool, well, fuck that. I ain't friends with you. This battle shit wasn't meant for you. You're a 30 year old begging for a few quid when if you quit, not one person in this crowd would remember you. And that's round one. I just gave you an intro to the coroner's report. For round two, I'm a dissecting. You'll see me drag his body to the morgue. For the final round, it's the evaluation of the corpse. And I express in detail about this body that I've caught. Yo, at the start of the round, I figured out what he actually does. This man is a chump. You and no free runner, just all them flips are planned from the jump. And just because you're carrying gloves don't mean you're packing a punch, especially if you're not big enough to be backing him up. Because he swung it low. Hey, if B button, that's punch is thrown. If I strike twice, then he's on the ropes. That's fight night combo code. So fuck your Xbox movements. I give you the beat down and steal your bet. Your head bop to it, your face a red dot. That's a headshot, stupid. This is how I beat Briggs around. I'm Lennox Lewis. See? Look, I know you want to be respected. I get it, bruv. How's playing for United? You still in the under-11s club? Look, you want to be on my level but can't without stepping up. I know you want to get into bars, just you barely get into pubs. See? See? On tracks, this guy raps like he runs the streets. Don't act like your content is something deep. As if you're the Heisenberg of your company. You ain't shifting drugs, I mean. If you can't motivate a locksmith, how the fuck are you cutting keys? See, if your team's supposed to be dope, how come they stumbled rounds all over the globe? Like, bro, do you go to battles with, like, most of them row? Oh, it's a joke. Like, goth teams with the straps that go at the throat. That's why they called Mosh Team, because their style has chokers involved. Name me a project that's actually gone far. You flop star. I mean, what happened to those lab sponsors? They really flopped hard. Plus, I would have thought a Mosh Team could have hung around a rock star. So, maybe I'm bad with comparisons, but you Man United today, used to be Manchester's champions, but those days are over. Now you're also whack, it's embarrassing. Plus in this game, I don't think any new angle will carry them. So why are you fronting like you at the scene's front? You're that one guy that struggles to keep up. There's Shotty, Blizzard, Bowski, even Eek, bruv. And you're in the same, <laughs> even Eek, bruv. And you're in the same spot Raptors in, and you had three years, while well, he had three months. So how can you claim progression when you're tight weight and veteran? You've been here for three years and never made impressions because you choke and drop tears that's a blazing session. See, if, 
See, your fans think you've got this, but see, they're kind of wrong. I'm like, fuck the bandwagon people feel the need to climb upon. Your group's arrogance will be the reason why we won tonight. Manchester's B-team's getting beaten by the dogs. Time. Okay. Yo. Okay, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. <laughs> so for this round, it's light work. I'm going to use the two minutes to break down BAM. So let's forget the day you would start with a hunger for more. Because that tournament really had you come through the door. When in actual fact you didn't win one battle, but somehow managed to win the awards. I mean, they said you beat Impact. No, you didn't. They said you beat C Major. No, you didn't. They said you beat Ogmios. No, you didn't. I mean, yeah, you might have got the applause and the judges might have judged it, but that don't mean nothing at all. Cause as soon as the footage dropped, it only showcased all of your flaws. Now, the fauna would talk about how each battle was a robbery. Cause don't you think if you would have won by now, you would have gathered some fans? I mean, think about it, Joe. Do you think the people are stupid? The week after winning the tournament, you became a staff member. What, like that wasn't planned in advance? I mean... Hey. Hey. I mean, like, hey. I mean, let's just go back a month ago, the press conference. You edited that to give off the impression you was even having a chance. When anyone in that room will tell you for 10 minutes you look shut, got body, said three sentences and embarrassed on cam. I mean, what's happening, bruh? Shit's changed since my last battle, but I've always told the fans I could write like this. Now each line I script will make each round sound like it's a highlight clip, so I don't care who my guy is. I'm only here to document the powers that be like a zeitgeist did. This is night night, bitch. For any battle rapper that steps in the ring to drive fight bricks. I'm coming black gloves. I'm Mike Tice on his fight night shit. See, Barmalan talks tough, but we all know he ain't ever lived a life like this. You build your life around spectacles, exactly like his eyesight is now. Yeah. Hey, exactly like his eyesight is now. This is for any battle rapper that talks tough. Trying to get aggressive on some eyeline shit. Say personal's cool. Mention my daughter's name, I expect you to say the same when we're outside, bitch. Cause one of the man that I roll with is holding that knife out rip. And when I'm stepping with that metal, they get to ducking like I'm playing time crisis now. <laughs> hey. Time crisis, now bang the weight, stop, rewind that clip, I've told you shit's changed From a daughter, I'm a stack cheddar I don't hang around to build prospects with this knife, it's ISIS I'ma hack heads off, so step to my... Hey, don't lose your heads Hey, so step to my clubhouse and get put down just for thinking you bad fella You brought your gang to my town If they ain't charming, then I let the suns ride like I'm Jack's teller now In the first... In the first, I gave you the intro to the coroner's report. Round two, I dissected him. You see me drag the body to the morgue. For the final round, it's the evaluation of the corpse and I express in detail about the body that I got. But wait, wait, wait. I don't think he's been bothered enough, enough for me and it's a Briggsy performance, so it's only right I build some bars around jokes like a comedy club, I mean. You started a show called Bad Bars, bro. You're actually the king of them, I mean. You said so many bad bars, bad no pass me your email address, I'll send you a link to them, I mean. He's, he's, hey, there's over a thousand of us here. Why not share a few, see what you're thinking of? Manchester, if you've got a drink, after every bad Bamalan bar, we'll take a drink to them, so. Hey, this is what you said, bro. This is word for word. I haven't changed any of this. This is against C Major, he said. Bro, you are the fakest head. You try head, but me with that head, you'll probably break your head. No. Uh, now with that bar, do we, do we need to slow it down or something? I mean, I even tried to reverse it and still missed it, so... Will he break his fake head for headbutting you with a fake head? See, the worst part of that battle is he actually wins it, I mean... Fuck it, one more, I mean, well, let's, do it, let's go. He said, word for word, bruv, you'll get ghosted. No Patrick Swayze. <laughs> Bamalam, you shit. No Mr. Hanky. Time. Yo, that, that round was perfect. I was gonna do a bunch of rebuttals, but now that I heard it, I think it's I'm bound to forget it. It's like, listen. <laughs> I did a flip, you're not always meant to get them right, it happens, you know what I mean? Anyway, <laughs> listen, yeah? Like, look, look, they think, 
Because I'm laid back, they ain't rap. Nah, I just talk to them in a way that sounds like when mates chat, because that's the only way to deliver straight facts. It's like, how do I get through to you that, bruv, you're shitty? You walk around talking like you love your city, but I bet they trade a hundred briefies for one shifty. Shout for shifty. Yeah, <laughs> for one shifty, because it's like, this is the biggest venue you've ever supported that. That just means you did a set that no one wanted to see, even the headline performing act. So my thoughts are that, you just roll with your crew when they have done a show. Bruv, you Matt LeBlanc, rely on friends to help you through, but can't make it on your own. See, I know you've got guys ghostwriting parts, because you say some shit, and you ain't that type of smart. It's like your flow is whack, then suddenly kind of hard, bruv, you Mo Sislak, I know there's a shotty behind the bar. Look. Bruv. So it doesn't matter what his attack is, there's copy patterns in his pad list, and just because you steal punches doesn't make you jacks, Briggs. Mm. So, like, let's get this one thing settled, yeah? You'll never reach the heights that Shotty gets to. All of your teams just forget you. Raps and Youngster left you. It's funny, they jumped off from what you're building and took flight, yet you fell off from the upper level. Because you were fucking over your friends in a fight for your respect, and you can find them all to death. You were trying to form a rep and climbing for success, but you bring down those around you. That's the Heisenberg effect. See? I know you're sore. I know you're sore. I know you're sore. Dick ride anyone they can endorse in a hope for a collab or tour. I mean, you make people rap record so you can claim that the talent's yours. What was the name of that label that you and rap performed? Oh yeah, I came to cancel the misfits. What should I keep you on the channel for? Because, bruv, I can't... I, I can't think of a battle that you didn't choke and it's already a body of me and villain show. Mosh ain't nothing like my team cause Cystic's dope. You shot his ginger midget clone. I'll put your little boat into hot water and see if you can sink or float. So keep up in this rap shit or be jump for practice like skipping ropes. And I hit this bloke so hard he'll split in two like Goku versus Piccolo. This is, this is, this is, this is payback for everything that you did to Seoul Cause they said that you won but we both know that you didn't though Your style's one of them online prank videos Cause it always ends in punches that isn't joke This is a local match in your city so Your name's getting swiped on screens like Tinder hoes Don't you get it? We only came to... This is a local match in your city so Your name's getting swiped on screens like Tinder hoes We only came to win and roll, don't you get it? Man, you losing every time the whistle blows Time No, I've got some shit I need to address with you, Joe. It's about that shit that you tweeted. Remember when you said E and D ain't as big as Marsh? I mean, fuck now, let's go again. Okay, start this. So, I've got some shit I need to address with you, Joe. It's about that shit that you tweeted. Remember when you said E and D ain't a one-man crew aiming at Marsh team? I bet you sat on your home, on your phone, on your own, and tweeted like you mean it. See, what I didn't air out to the fans is I belled you when I seen it. I was like, bro. What the fuck is that shit that you're tweeting? Is this really some beef shit? Now, he's aggressive in battles, but he was stuttering like a bitch. Like, mm, no, brother. Uh, uh, I forgot you was mush team, bro. I'm, in it. I, I'm gonna delete it, I mean. I mean, I'm a, I, I mean, I mean, am I lying, Joe? Let's not deny it, Joe. Just cause we're on stage, don't think Illa won't have you dragged along the floor. You best think about them actions when you talk about E and D being bigger than Mosh. I ain't seen one of you man popping on a tour. Tony came the closest. That's when I was four and flex, I love the movie shit. That's when I was four and flex, I love the movie shit. Let's reverse it for the score and scream fuck Scarface. Cause this time Manny's killing Tony just for knocking at his door. See, see we're different, Joe. You're from a Silver Spoon Society. You've never had to work hard and prove progression. Your hardest choice in high school was a drama class or a music lesson in my high school, it was year seven. Two options, use your fists or produce a weapon. Pick that one wrong choice and leave your mum blacked out trying to choose a rep room. Now, we had to watch with every move we step with. I ain't trying to say the boy's a fuck, I'm just saying we're cut from a different cloth. Cause if I say I'ma do it, I'ma do it. I don't need to get my boys for the scuff. Cause if it ever got to a point I need to bring my boys to your hood, You'd see that shotty hang out the window trying to recreate that scene in Boys in the Hood. <laughs> see, I, hey, see, I ain't saying you pussy, Joe. I'm just saying you ain't the time to be giving me grief. Cause if you horse around, you get Christopher Reeves. Cause while we were raised hard, you was living the dream. I mean, as a kid, I'd give lip. Catch that stick from police. He was out with Ogmios making kids out with them sticks in the trees. I mean, I've yeah, done this. Right. 
that's the shit they believe. I ain't saying I'm rolled, I ain't trying to bang these clips, I'm just saying E and D and Walt Disney. See, that's the type of animals that Bambi with. Now I've got the... No, hey, Bambi with, now I've... Now I've got the staff seeing panicking. Drew were like, Rowan, please. Bam needs this, he's lost two rounds now. Plan B, quick, let's give him seven minute rounds. Come on, Joe, you can do it. Rowan, please, Bam B's bridge, now please this. Speaking of the staff team, I was told that you suffer from some kind of eating disorder. Yeah. Now I was told it ain't the type of disorder where you have to worry about the different kinds of meats that you ordered. It got deeper than that. See, I was told when the staff team likes to go out for meals, Bam Alam likes to eat a lot. Then immediately needs the bog. Got his arms around the bowl when his fingers pushed deep now. I ain't the type to make fun of a disability, Joe, but do you sit at home, on your phone, on your own? I ain't the type to make fun of your disability, Joe, but do you sit at home, on your phone, on your own? Look at it, just eat, thinking, come on, Joe, just eat. I mean, I mean, trust me. <laughs> I ain't the type to make fun of a disability. If you're insecure about yourself and you feel the need to do it, just know I'm always here to talk, Joe. If you need to get it off your chest, oh, fuck, I guess his fingers beat me to it, I mean. <laughs> it must, hey, it must be hard being you, bro. Knowing you're risking your life with every shepherd's pie tackle, but then again, it's cool. Your friends with Bagnon and Kruger, just keep them round and they can cut out the chokes like a Gemini battle. <laughs> now that's round three. In the first, I gave you the intro to the coroner's report. The round two, I dissected him. You see me drag his body to the morgue. In the final round, it was the evaluation of the cops. And you just witnessed the body that I caught. Briggs, 